Hey guys, so I am super excited for today's video because it is a vlog. I'm sorry, no hairstyles today. So I am about to go into the eye doctor. This is my second appointment. Um, my first appointment, it was for a LASIK consultation. Um, if you don't know what LASIK is, it is a corrective eye procedure. So I've been wearing glasses and contacts, contacts <laughs> since sixth grade. Um, I am now 30 years old. So I'm adding in this part, I'm already at home, but I have negative 3.5 vision in both eyes. So I'm very obviously nearsighted. So when I went in for my consultation, PRK surgery was actually the best surgery option for me versus LASIK. If you don't know what the difference is between PRK and LASIK, don't worry, neither did I, and I will try to explain it the best that I can. So LASIK and PRK, you get the same outcome. The only difference is how the cornea is accessed from what I understand. So with LASIK, they do like a flap and, and with PRK, they remove the epithelial layer of tissue of the cornea, something like that. I don't know, not even gonna try to get into it. Maybe I can find like an image or a video or something to show you the difference. Okay, this is the best video that I can find. You see how they take like the layer off of the eye for PRK and then they do the flap for LASIK and then they do whatever here. <laughs> yeah, so I have to go PRK, which is like the old school route. And PRK, I guess it's a little bit longer of a procedure and the recovery is longer, unfortunately. With LASIK, it's quick. You know, you're up on your feet um, pretty much the next day. LASIK is more expensive. So I'm getting mine done in Florida. Um, I, prices probably vary throughout the United States, but PRK here is 3800 and LASIK is 4300 Insurance does not cover it. Some places do like a discount. Um, this place does not accept any type of insurance. They do give you a cash discount though of $400 sink. So I'm about to go in and I will report back. So see you in a minute. <laughs> And these are the machines that they test your eyes on for your consultation and then your second visit. All right guys, I am back from my appointment. They dilated my eyes and I have to drive and I'm like, oh, straining. Can you see my pupils? Oh, it's so bright. Oh, anyway, so I think I might have told you things wrong because I understood them differently than what they told me. So I'm like, what the hell? LASIK, LASIK regular LASIK, PRK. So I was gonna have to get PRK because of my thin corneas. I went in today, they said my corneas are thicker, um, which qualifies me for just regular LASIK. My eyes could have been dry when I got my consultation, um, but they're thicker now, so I qualify for LASIK. Regular LASIK is the same cost as PRK, with the cash discount, it's 3,400. So, I get to do LASIK tomorrow. I can get Nashi. <laughs> <laughs> Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Oh. Oh. What is that? <laughs> Look at Nash. This is a madhouse, isn't it? No. How's your cookie, Knox? Nashi, this is a no-no cabinet. Who took the who took the hair tie off? This is how we lock our cabinets. Hair ties and rubber bands. Say cookie. Cookie. I came in here and he is standing on this. Look at his little toes. To play with the kitchen. So cute, very smart. I haven't showed you guys the room in a while, but this is what it looks like. Um, we still have all the animal heads. Kitchen, toy storage. Ooh, ooh. ooh that's a cow. Still working on Knox's speech. If you follow me on Instagram, he is in speech ooh. classes. Um, he's having a hard time talking. He's a little bit delayed. Is that a sheep? Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. 
So for dinner, I'm making smashed potatoes. So you boil baby potatoes, you use melted butter, olive oil, garlic, parsley, salt, pepper. Uh, boil them just enough so they're soft and then you smash them with a cup or whatever you have and then you brush on some melted butter then, and then you drizzle on some olive oil. I just put it all over like this and then you want to go in with salt, pepper, garlic powder, parsley, stick it in the oven at 400 until it's brown and crispy and I served it with cottage cheese and pork and wait till you hear the crunch. It's so good. Yay, getting clean. Okay. So handsome. Anyone else have a squirmy baby that hates being changed? Because mine does. <laughs> you don't want your hair brush? Okay, every night we do an air show. We got these planes for Christmas. They light up. And my husband and I, we do an air show for them. Hit the lights, please. <laughs> Playing. Woo! Do you guys hear that? Me either. It's silent. So I will see you tomorrow for surgery day. I don't have to do anything special. Just it's not until 2:30 in the afternoon. So I don't know what I'll show you before then. But yeah. Good night. Hey guys, it is the next day. It is surgery day and I am freaking out. I felt very nervous all day. I know it'll be fine, it'll go smoothly. It's just, this kind of stuff just makes me very anxious. So I'm actually working. So I get off at two today and then we're gonna head to the surgery center. For those of you who don't know, I do have an eight to four, actually a seven to three job here. Um, I work centrally, but my work is in Indiana and they work on Eastern times, fully remote. And it's what I do Monday through Friday. And then I have YouTube um, that I do as like a side hustle. So let me show you my office. It is so messy. Um, Knox is outside with my husband. Nash is inside right here. Oh, jeez, I almost fell. Oh. <laughs> we got a lot going on in here. Um, this is my messy desk. And this is where I work every single day. So. If you're curious, now you know. Can we talk about these heatless curls for a second? So I did a new heatless curls method. I'm gonna have to share it with you guys. Excuse my computer. I'm gonna have to share it with you guys because it looks pretty good, I think. If you live in Florida, you know about fire ants. They are hell. All right guys, we are running late, of course, and I'm sweating, I'm getting nervous. Maybe I don't need to be nervous. Um, <gasps> bye. <laughs> So they gave me a bag full of stuff. These are eye drops that I had to buy. They gave me these glasses. Uh, these are the glasses I have to sleep in. And then these are drops I use for four days, four times a day. So this was the room I had to wait in. You can see there was a TV. There was a surgery going on right before me and I could watch it if I wanted to. No thanks. Tell me about it. How was it? It only took forever. I mean, it was actually pretty quick. The procedure itself was like maybe five minutes. I mean, the longest part was just waiting, doing paperwork, and my eyes feel very heavy right now. Um, very watery. The procedure, they like, it's just, it's just weird. You feel pressure. You kind of feel the tool, but like it doesn't hurt. Can you see right now? It's very blurry. Oh my gosh, I look so sad here, you guys. I was so sick. I forgot to tell you, they gave me Valium before the surgery to relax me, and it made me so sick in the car. I passed out. I got really hot, passed out. Um, my husband was shaking me, trying to wake me up. Eventually woke up and just felt so sick. Um, so here's me getting out of the car. I was just so ready to go lay down, and that's exactly what I did after this. I went inside, and I laid down and went to sleep for a couple hours. So here's what the situation looked like when I was asleep with the kids and with my husband. Um, he's about to show me right here. This is me. I was passed out <laughs> with my glasses on. 
miserable. Oh my gosh. So it is a couple hours after surgery. 7.45. 7.45. I can barely open my eyes. We just put some drops in it. Um, whenever I open my eyes, it feels like I have sand in them or just a bunch of crap in them. So I'm just trying to keep them closed. Um, it's like as far as I can open. My vision is pretty, it's still pretty blurry right now, but I can tell it's a lot better. Um, so I'm excited to see what it looks like tomorrow. All is well now. I just feel very drowsy and I can't keep my eyes open. So I don't know what I'm going to do the rest of the night. Just lay in bed. Um, so hopefully I have a better update tomorrow and I will see you then. So here's my husband putting in my eye drops for me. Bless his heart. I have to put these ones in every 30 minutes so that my eyes don't dry out. Keep them nice and lubricated. And then here's the silly glasses I have to sleep in for four nights. But honestly, they're not too bad. Hey guys, so it is the next day and I can see it is still pretty fuzzy and I can tell my eyes feel just like really dry when I don't have those drops in. I have to put those drops in every 30 minutes and when I don't put them in every 30 minutes, like I can feel my eyes feeling very dry. They are pretty red, pretty swollen. This is me like opening all the way. I had my post-op this morning. I drove to my post-op. Um, that's how good I can see right now. Again, it's still it's still fuzzy, but I can see, and that's supposed to progressively get better. Last night was horrible. If you saw my clip, then you could see I could barely open my eyes. It literally felt like sand was in my eyes. It was absolutely awful. That feeling is so bad. I basically just closed my eyes all night. Had the TV on, but didn't watch it, just kind of listened. Nashi. Hey guys, so it is Friday. It's like 6 p.m. I almost forgot to check in with you guys, but um, so it's been two days since my surgery. I had my sur surgery Wednesday afternoon, and this is what my eyes are looking at, like right now. They actually look really good, really clear. It's still amazing just what your eyes can do. It's amazing that you can have a surgery like that and then still see after, you know? As far as my vision right now, my left eye is super clear. My right eye is still hazy. So yeah, as far as like post-op care, you're just not allowed to get like water in your eyes, not allowed to wear makeup, not allowed to do like any like extreme outdoor activities. If you go outside, you have to wear your sunglasses um, and just be really careful with them. And that's what I've been doing. I've just been kind of resting, hanging around the house, going outside occasionally, but nothing too crazy. This is my last and final update. Um, so it's been, let's see, it's Sunday, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's been four days since my LASIK surgery. And <laughs> you're so cute. He's a good walker boy now. He walks everywhere. Um, but I still have blurry vision in my right eye. My left eye is perfectly clear and it's just super frustrating um, to not have just perfectly clear vision right away. Like I said, I know it can take you know up to a week, sometimes even months for your vision to be perfectly clear. So, so these are my eyes four days post-op. I'm gonna show, show them to you up close. So I guess I'll just give you my final thoughts of the procedure. The, pr the procedure itself, I thought it was, it didn't hurt. Um, it's just very, it's very weird. It's weird feeling the pressure of just everything. You're awake the whole time. It's awkward You hear them talking. I don't know, I, I just wasn't a fan of that. Um, the night of the procedure, I couldn't even open my eyes. I, it literally felt, if you were to grab a handful of sand open your eyes and just rub them into your rub the sand into your eyes that's what it felt like it sucked that that first night was rough but you sleep it off you wake up and you're like oh my god how did I even go through that I can open my eyes now it sucks having to use eye drops literally every 30 minutes <laughs> I use them every 30 minutes because my eyes just they start to feel very dry and I've heard you have to use these eye drops for a while I'm happy I got it, I'm not gonna lie. 
was it worth $3,400? Yeah, I think so. As long as I don't have to have like a corrective surgery to fix my blurry right eye. Um, I think it was definitely worth it. You know, I can see. I mean, it may be blurry in this eye, but I can see 2020. I don't need contacts. I don't need glasses. It's crazy. I've dreamt of this for so long and to just have it finally done, it's, it's awesome. It's a really cool thing. So am I happy that I got it done? Absolutely yes. No regrets. I would do it again, 100%. So that is my video. Let me know if you have had PRK or LASIK surgery in the comments below. Let me know what your experience was. Um, I would love to hear from you guys. And I hope you like this vlog. I haven't posted a vlog in a while, so this was really fun for me to do. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Can you say bye? Can you tell them bye, Nash? Bye! Yay! <laughs>